Let's build great families. So many beautiful things come from being a husband and wife, father and mother. Join us and let's journey together. To family Watch Live. I am Paul. I'm Denise Price. And this is Family Watch Live. Wow. Welcome to Family Watch, where we bring you Catholic conversations. At Family Watch, we believe that the path to renewal of society and transformation of the church begins in and through the family. By strengthening marriages, empowering parents, and bringing families closer to Christ. Yes. All right. We are on our second episode. Welcome, everybody. Please type in wherever you are watching us from, wherever you are. We want to know where you guys are. Please join us here. So our portion of Faith Watch, honey, or Family Watch, mm -hmm is about building strong families. And all throughout the third Thursday of the month, we're talking about different things about how to build strong families. And tonight, because it's the month of Febibig, we'll talk about... Febibig? <laughs> yes. Wow, that's a new one. <laughs> we'll be talking about, of course, love. Love yeah. and all its passion, yeah. <laughs> So that tonight's topic will be five signs that your marriage is flourishing. So get your notebook. Remember, in our first uh, episode, our pilot episode, we said that you would have a dedicated notebook for all the times you would come together and you wrote down all your dreams and wishes for your family. And tonight, we're going to talk about marriages. So take notes and you will review your wish list again at the end. Yes. So tonight, honey, it's not just the two of us. We have a special guest, and they are Howard and Sheila Go. You've known them for so many years already. Howard and Sheila will celebrate their 16th anniversary tomorrow. So happy, happy anniversary. They have two children, a 14-year-old boy and a 10-year-old girl. As a family, they have Bible study every Sunday and learn the faith every Saturday. Oh. Please welcome Howard and Sheila Go. Hello. Hello. There. Hi. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this Thursday evening. Yes, and we are so excited to whatever our conversation will lead us, especially on this very special topic of marriages. Yes. Marriage. Yeah. Yes, we, we highly... Uh, thank you for being with us tonight. So tonight, <laughs> great. we'll talk about the five signs that our marriages are flourishing. So for everybody who's watching, tick off the ones that you have to know that your your marriage is flourishing. What does flourishing mean? In Tagalog, lumalago, yumayabong. Is wow. it? Is it? I don't know. Maybe. Tagalog. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bisaya. <laughs> But yes, I think that's what it is. Yeah, so it it's, means it's growing and it's life-giving. It's and, alive. Yeah. It's um, giving life around you, even just by seeing your marriage. So what are those five signs of uh, a flourishing marriage? Okay, take it away. Yeah, so with our guest tonight, we will be asking this, what are these? We will find out on our own marriages as well. Tatanungin natin sarili natin na ano ba, ano ba talaga ang, ang buhay na buhay na pag-aasawa. And with our special guest, uh, we will ask Howard first. Howard, what do you think is the secret of your marriage? Uh, Paul, I think one of the most important things is we treat our vocation as husband and wife as more important than our, than our vocation as parents. We learned this 
actually a few years into our marriage already. The, the earlier part, we made a mistake. We had a few friends who told us that the most important thing was the children. Once you have kids, all your love will be there. And we thought that as a couple, that's where our attention should go. And the first few years of our marriage, uh, we would argue often and have problems, but we, all, we were always thinking we were there for the kids. Thankfully, uh, we met certain people who helped us. We found some books to guide us. And we were reminded that the sacrament of marriage is not to be parents, but to be spouses, that we are committed to each other. We're supposed to be married to each other. Our vocation is about taking care of each other. Uh, and, and that the reason why many families break up in the States after the children grow up is that empty nest syndrome happens because they live for the kids, not for each other. So we told ourselves that we would live for each other first and foremost, and then only secondarily be parents to our children. And so, as spouses, we were always one first before we handled the other responsibilities of a family. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's like a lot to listen to. We can talk about that all night long. <laughs> yeah, it's really like so full of content just there. Now, Sheila, was that easy? Like relearning that? Siyempre, as nanay, no? Ano tayo sa mga anak? Talagang tutok. But mm. was that easy shift for you? Uh, hi, Denise. Um, it was a slow process. And then uh, it, it's more of like, a, <laughs> it, it, it's it's kind of difficult because all your attention is with your children. And then later on, knowing that uh, slowly I become, uh, I learned a lot because of uh, the seminars that we attended and how Howard also was very vocal about it and he would read and share share whatever he learned about growing our relationship evolving our relationship as husband and wife so good no? wow yeah can Howard, can you explain more on when you said na parang you treat your vocation uh in marriage as husband and wife more than being parents is there a, is there a comparison like being a parent or being a husband it, and is wife is it like a competition or or meron bang mga level yon i wouldn't say it's about level it's just that if you treat the children as the center then your attention goes there first and wherever your heart is that's where your actions will be but if your actions are first for your spouse, then your love will grow for each other. And so you behave as parents, not as a father and a mother that's separate, but together. And uh, I think it's also the best way for us to bring up our children well. That uh, I, I read somewhere that the best way for what? your children to marry someone good for them is if they see what a happy marriage is like. So oh, wow. by our love for each other, our children have, will have a better idea of what to expect when they one day choose to get married or be with someone. What, what pushed you, what, what push you to, to have that perspective of like putting your wife first or your marriage first? Um, well, as I mentioned, we initially made the mistake of thinking it should be about the children. Mm -hmm. And so we would often forget each other. We would always have family time instead of couple time. Mm -hmm. We would be more focused on uh, spending things for the children instead of for each other, uh, and forgetting to spend more time with each other. We would raise our children very well, sh shower them with love, but less and less time for each other. It's like, as long as we're being good parents to them, then our love is going well. But uh, we would often, you know, you grow this son. You're, you're spending too much time with the kids. They love you so much. But between each other, there are times that you don't get to talk as much as you should. Then uh, we attended a few seminars, uh, we read some books, and we slowly saw that line that the vocation was really to be a husband and wife. The children come wow. out. Uh, wow. Can wow. I just repeat something very important that Hao said? <laughs> no, he said, we behave as parents, not as a mother or father. Parang pareho kasi yun eh, pero when you think about it talaga no, as parents, you are one first before you are a mother and a father. Oh, ganda! <laughs> well, that's, that's a very good sign. It's a very good sign. Like that's, a, that's number one. That's the first sign of a marriage that is flourishing. Yes, and that? what is that? That is, um, we will go by letter C. So that's the first sign is commitment. They have committed themselves to each other and to be that. Dapat pinag-usapan yun as mag-asawa. It doesn't like, 
as Harold said earlier na hindi okay. lang naman it, uh, hindi lang naman nangyari yon we they both committed in in yeah. making their marriage a priority in fact when things were a bit going wrong they did not dissolve and go their separate ways because of their commitment they stayed on and changed some aspect of their family Wow. For the better. Wow. Okay, goodbye. Okay na tayo. <laughs> Yun na pa lang eh. Uwi na. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay, let's go to the second one. No? So, the second sign that your marriage is flourishing is also a letter C. Can you tell us, you know, maybe you have ideas of what these letter C words are. If you can comment below. The second letter, ay, the second word we're talking about with Sheila. So, ang mga mag-asawa na regularly nagde-date nakikita namin, no, is that your marriage is flourishing kasi palagi kayong magkasama. Why do you think that is, Sheila, that the regular dates allow your marriage to flourish? Oh, yes. Okay, Denise. Um, it's because you will learn each other more. Uh, personally, without any distractions, because when when you don't go out on dates and then you just have a lot of family gatherings with your children or, or relatives, and then you you don't really you don't really dive into the personal stuff with each other. So if you allocate time for one another, you get to enjoy. Uh, aside from you know when you go out, you enjoy the ambiance. You you don't have to cook and yeah. <laughs> yes. your, focus, your focus is on him and then you you can talk about your goals where you are now in life uh, probably your work you can talk about anything without any distractions so that's why it's very important to build your relationship together because as you grow old remember when your kids are gone i mean they go their separate ways uh, and then it's just the two of you. At least there's already that bond that wow. you build. And then you won't feel like empty nesters. Yeah, that's so yeah. true, no? Yeah. So, but Sheila, paano ngayon, pandemic? What do you do for dates? And how often pala do you date? Yeah, paano kayo nag-date? Like this this date, nasa, nasa dining table. Tapos next <laughs> is nasa ano kayo? Sana. Paano? 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 Na, ako, ako as nahirapan ako mag-isip kung saan ko i-date yung asawa ko. Hirap kaming lumabas. Well, we go outdoors. Like, we book restaurants that, uh, you know, um, very good ambience and then romantic pa rin. And every, at least every week, we try to go out on dates. Aside from that, we also have our time here in the house. We... We catch up on things and, uh, you know, we, we set up something outside the house, like literally outside the house. You saw you saw our photo one time, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that's in the porch. Yeah, so it's really important that wherever you're comfortable, like you go somewhere outdoors. Yeah. Yeah. So, kaya, ni Kaya. 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 <laughs> I-date mo ko. <laughs> yeah, parang... Well, what's the like um, critical factor na, na to keep you going and having this regular um, time together as husband and wife um, in your marriage? Ano sa tingin yung, wa, what, how do you see it coming from the uh, point na you are committed to each other? How do you keep that going? I'm like making each other important. See how the man. Yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, being able to find things that we both enjoy. So, like, we, when we eat at home, we tend to cook something that we both like to eat. So, it's like uh, we're both in the mood for, let's say, steak or spaghetti. Uh, I'm a big fan of her spaghetti, and she likes eating it also. So, when we make it, just that, right? Just together. Just saying, I want to enjoy, uh, enjoy a good glass of wine tonight. And then we just yeah. make sure we have one, two hours to drink some wine together and just enjoy that uh, moment. And it can also be we just go outside to a place and we just walk around and eat in a simple place. As long as it's just time to just click and talk and experience life together and just enjoy it together. Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I think... Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So the letter C, honey, is for... coming from that word the yes. Howard mentioned, which is the click, which is the letter C that we are looking for now in a marriage is chemistry. So yung pagiging like not <laughs> pwede namang hindi kayo magkapareho, but you click together as yes. Howard would say. Um, example, one one of the things that palagi kong binibigay example is like um, hydro, hydrogen and oxygen. They're both different. Chemistry el- kasi. <laughs> yeah, bo- both different <laughs> elements. But, but when they come together, they are different. They already are different. That's water, which is life-giving. So uh-huh. parang, that's parang sa tigo, what Howard was explaining kanina, yun yung pagsasama. Like one, one must be aware of that chemistry. Or be conscious of like achieving that chemistry. So, dapat may kilig pa rin. Dapat yes. talaga meron pa rin, you know. Paano mo naman, ma- <laughs> paano mo naman makukuha know? yung kilig? <laughs> so, syempre dapat ano pa rin, kiligable ka pa rin, di ba? So, medyo naman mag-ayos ng konti, mga nanay at mga tatay, di ba? <laughs> so, when you go out, make the effort siguro. Kasi, in, nung iniisip ko nung the word of chemistry, sabi ko, bakit nga ba chemistry ang ginamit about pag-ibig no it's so technical and science related pero chemistry ang in- naiisip ko in a laboratory umuusok kumukulo <laughs> 'di ba so there's that passion yeah. there's that it's alive and and then when the two chemicals come together it brings forth something else no yeah. so yeah. yun yung chemistry yeah. sa pagiging mag-asawa yeah explosive <laughs> Explosive passion. Okay, next sex subject. Tama na yan. <laughs> okay, now we will, we'll go to the next um, um, sign. So that's the first sign. No? The first is commitment and the next is chemistry. Marriage should have that commitment and have that chemistry. And then at the third sign is um, we talk about the family. Yeah, decisions about how, fami- how family decisions are made. Let's uh, give us an example, Howard. How do you make decisions within your family? Uh, so, so there are two ways we make decisions. There are decisions that we already pre-agreed before. Uh, when you know, when we, when we had kids and we faced it, certain situations, we would say that if we face this again, these are the rules of how we deal with it. And so we pre-agree on how to manage it. And there are times when it's totally new and we need to talk about it with each other. And we discuss it with each other. It's We learn that... Uh, it's best not to say one thing and then disagree with the other person in front of the kids. Yeah, the kids. So it's best to try to discuss it with each other. Uh, and, and we've learned to do that whenever it's something new or something complicated. But quite often, especially, well, you, you know, we also had a, a training with a NPEP with EduChild. Uh, mm-hmm. It's about intentional up, uh, training for our kids. So that means we decide ahead of time what the correct discipline is. So for most situations, the pre-agreed way of managing things can be used. Wow. Oh God, you hit it in the head. Kagad eh. Nang sinabi mo kaya, parang... Uwi, oh, yeah, namin na namin na. <laughs> yung, the very important factor yung sinabi ni Howard, you know, is the coming together as husband and wife. You come together and you decide first before you bring down the rules. Parang pag-usapan nyo muna as mag-asawa yung rules nyo sa bahay. And it's not set in stone. And that's so, our yeah. third C, which is consensus. Parang pag-agreean nyo muna kung anong paano nyo patakbuhan. So you have the same or common goal. Nga, pero sabi din niya na pwede din palitan, di ba? Yeah. Something mm. different mm. happens. Ganun. So hindi mm. naman siya set in stone. Pero ang pinaka-importante dun is pre-agreed. Yun yung key. Nagsusulat ako ng notes ito sa mag-asawa. Tapos kayong right? dalawa ang nag a Hindi yung uh, one is authoritarian or parang oh, uh, tapos sasabi mo Bakit mo ginawa yun? Eh, umuo ka naman or gano'n yun. So parang nag-aaway-aaway about it is the decision pero isa lang naman pala ang nag-decide. So dapat dalawa yeah. para panindigan yung yes. dalawa. Yes, have a consensus. Wow. Aling. Dami-dami na. Uh, dami na akong natututunan. Oo oh, nga. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the third sign. Now the fourth sign because there's five. The fourth sign is okay, sa'yo. <laughs> Take it away. So, they actually, napag-usapan na nila to earlier, no? si How and Sheila, they also support each other's interest and allow the individual to grow. So, pero, supportado ng isa't isa 
yung interest na yun. So, Sheila, explain mo nga sa amin yung how does that happen, yung support each other's interests and allow each one to grow as an individual. Yes, because, um, uh, yes, Denise, we, we do have a lot of different passions. Like, uh, a long time ago, I used to bake a lot and then I told Howard, I, I want to make this into a business because people are ordering from me. And then and then he supported that. When he went to the States, he bought a lot of stuff for me, like the mold, <laughs> of the, the cake mold, and the uh, pot spatula, even my mixer. And, and he's very supportive of that. And then lately also, like, I'm into the arts, like I paint, and then Howard would just oh. buy, <laughs> buy the paint, <laughs> and then he would he would surprise me with a chair like yesterday he was uh, i didn't know that he he bought a chair for me Aww. he was uh, yeah assembling it in front of me and then he said i think this is good for your back so when you're working this is the chair for you and that's how he supports me with my passion and aside from that there's a lot of stuff actually like aquaponics i put in the backyard uh, very <laughs> and, and and it's also likewise also i also support whatever he he wants to do he wants to invest okay and then we, we talk about it first but then we we lift each other up yeah nice so wow. so, so howard halimbawa gusto ni sheila is worth you know 100k pala Game yun agad. Paano mo susuportahan yun? Pa- paano kung halimbawa yung isang pamilya eh, hirap, merong budget, no? So how do you support your spouse kung may budget? Yeah, so the example Sheila gave were the easy ones. The one where it's just like, you know, getting something. The harder ones are usually the ones wherein she's struggling with something and because I believe in her and because I know it's good for her and for us, uh, I support her to do it. So I think a, a good story is one time she was trying to be a real estate broker and she was having a difficult time and then a family tragedy occurred and because of that she she had a difficulty doing it and i supported her decision to just take a pause and go back to it and you know it, it wasn't easy to make that uh decision but because i knew what was best for her is also best for us her her success her well-being is our well-being uh it would, it would be easier to make that decision it's not just happy wife happy life it's yeah. happy spouse happy life <laughs> yeah I'm yeah getting. Parang best for her is best for, for the family. Yeah. Ang galing noon. Yeah. For Sino daddies out there. Ako, ako nagno-notes na ako. Eh. Kanina pa ako nagno-notes about what Howard's parang I'm taking is kaya parang ang galing naman. Parang ha, pa, how to be you po. <laughs> mine, mine na po. Take it na po. One, one of the nicest things that like Howard was saying was, was parang Hindi yun madali. Parang, that's why I'm saying that take a cue on how Howard is um, being deliberate in his knowing more or knowing more about his spouse. No? Galing nun. No? Uh-huh. Ako nagpapaint ako. Saan ang chair ko? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, naman. Si Denise parang binibili na niya. Binibili na niya. Tapos sinasabihan lang, Oy, thank you for my gift. <laughs> Dahil dun, dun sa credit card ko pala naka-charge. Pwede rin yun, mga mami. Oh. <laughs> within the budget. Pero sa pag na-agreehan. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the key, the, the key naman, the letter C for that sign that your marriage is flourishing is common goals. Yeah. So you have, even if individual kayo, you still have separate likes, like, Paul likes golf. I don't play golf. Ayoko mainitan. <laughs> diba? So, pero siya type niya yun. So, when he comes home, how is your game? Nax? Oh, kahit niya. Kahit mo siya ng water. Oh, oh. Ganon. So, yeah. Parang, ikaw naman, as a husband, also try to make an effort of asking, like, the interest of your wife. What what interests her? Yeah. Ang galing nun, galing ang advice niya. But, all of this, uh, all of this, um, Common goals can only be enhanced more with the way you communicate as well as husband and wife. Paano kayo mag-usap? So the, that's the fifth factor in a flourishing marriage. You communicate well. Lalo na ako, like sa, sa side namin, 
medyo mahirap matigas ang liter ko minsan. <laughs> so minsan na construe yung matigas kong liter from what I really wanted to say. So there's also a time for for uh, spouses na to to adjust and um, communicate properly, di ba? Amen. <laughs> Napiyak mo ako eh. <laughs> yeah. So how do you do it as well, Howard, um, on communication within your marriage? Um, so of course we have the date night, but we also try uh, on even during our evenings to try to talk to each other and spend some time with each other. Uh, it's always good to try to find the likes that we both enjoy together so that there's something new to talk about. Uh, and discover new things about each other every once in a while. So we do that. And uh, I think that, that, that all of those four things, actually, without those first four, there's very little to talk about already yeah. at some point if you think you know someone. But if you keep on doing, they all refresh each other. All five. They are all connected. Yeah. Yeah. So what, was, what were those five Cs? Or signs of a flourishing marriage? Commitment. Second is chemistry. Kumukulo, umuusok. <laughs> Consensus. Common goals and communication. So, na-check nyo ba? Tayo ba lahat meron nun? Uh, we are working on it. <laughs> yeah, parang need not to be like sobrang perfect naman na na-achieve nyo na. But both, of, both um, spouses should be like striving and achieving that um, sign or embodying that sign of being a life-giving or being in a life-giving relationship. Galing? Galing. Hmm. Okay. Pagod ako. <laughs> <laughs> so those are the five signs. So please get your notebook. Did you write down the five C's? Ulit ko. Commitment, chemistry, consensus, common goals, and communication. Check it. Do you need to work on common goals? Then, pag-usap yeah. kayo. Mag-date kayo mag-asawa. Pag-usapan nyo yung common goals. Chemistry. You... Yeah. Parang, parang nagpakawala ka na lang ba? Hindi ka na nag-aayos para sa asawa mo. Oh, they mag-sign so, up kayo ng workout together. Re- <laughs> Paul and I work out together. <laughs> you requirement pa rin yun na keep the marriage alive. Exciting. It, dapat exciting. Palagi. No? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Ano Third ba? is consensus. Agree. Like if there's certain decisions, how big or how small it is, both should be agreeing. Kayong mag-asawa should be agreeing on that decision. Yeah. Pwede namang, wala namang pinagbabawal na mag-away kayo, but um, argue or drive each other's um, point but properly. Communicate properly. Yeah. Wala na ako masabi. Sobrang galing ng episode na to. <laughs> kayo, kayo, anong letter C na may dadagdag nyo sa from the five C's na you, please comment below kung meron kayo idadagdag na letter C. <laughs> Baka sila Howard and Sheila also want oh. to. You have parting words, Howard and Sheila. Happy anniversary tomorrow. We did kayo. Meron. Okay. Yay! Maybe you have parting words to other married couples all over the world? Yeah. Um, well, it's not a C, but I, I think w- one of the things that I found very interesting from one of the books I read before, uh, it was called Saving Your Marriage Before It Starts. He mentions that for a marriage to work well, you have to balance uh, passion, intimacy, and commitment. If you have passion and intimacy only, then... Uh, if it's just passion and intimacy, then you lack the commitment, then you would have a romantic relationship. But when it's over, the feelings are gone, you leave. If you have passion and commitment, but no intimacy, then you'll do it for you know, very physical reasons. It becomes a foolish relationship. If you have only intimacy and commitment, then you're best of friends, but it's purely platonic. It's just friendship. You want all three to have the perfect kind of uh, relationship, balance. the balance of all three. So. All the five that you mentioned, actually, if you do all five, you will have, you will reignite the passion. You will always have something to be intimate about, to create a, a feeling of warmth, warmth between each other, and the commitment will become easier and stronger each time. Galing. Wow. Wala na. Oh, okay na. May nanalo na. May winner na. Well, thank you very much, Harold and Sheila. Harold ka na, Harold eh. 
Howard. Howard. <laughs> Thank you so much, How and Sheila. Thank for you for having us. Me. We learned so much. You know, uh, Howard and Sheila attended NPEP with us and the other um, Middle Childhood Horrors. Magkasabay kami niyan. So yeah, that's we... another scene, no? Like um, a community. <laughs> Parang, or courses. Oh, or, or courses. Parenting <laughs> okay. courses which Edu Child is giving. Like, yeah. yeah, parang, if medyo hirap ka, like me, medyo hirap kang um, to move forward, wala naman talagang formal education, paano maging magulang or paano maging mag- mabuting husband. Eh. So, there's there's groups around there that can help support you. Yep. Especially Edu Child. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us on our second episode. Next month, March 17, we'll talk about finance and household management. And our guests are, they have a lot of kids. So, <laughs> yeah. Pera naman ang pag-uusapan oh, natin next um, month. month, which is March 17. Thank you very much, Howard and Sheila. And... Thanks for having us. Bye. This is Family Watch Live. (laughs) Thank you. Bye. Bye. Let's build great families. So many beautiful things come from being a husband and wife, father and mother. Join us and let's journey together.